luggage has been possibly one of the slowest and heaviest innovations in history. The fact is our grandparents used to lug around suitcases using just a handle, no matter how heavy they were. Man walked on the moon before it dawned on one innovator to put wheels on a suitcase. And there have basically been only a few sizes of luggage. Those are back breaking or carry on. Well now luggage can grow from small to grand with a suitcase zip that can expand. Here's Ali Ward to explain. You want your choice of bag or luggage to work for you, right? Ross Bishop knows this, so he created Brightline Bags. Think of them as the accordions of luggage. His inspiration was simple need. When Ross became a helicopter pilot in his 40s, he found the existing bags on the market lacking. An engineer, Ross decided he would be the one to reimagine the design of gear bags for multi-purpose use. Hi, great to see you. I met up with him in San Rafael, California. Did you start sketching on the back of a napkin or did you just go straight to the computer? So on my computer screen, I started building models of all the different parts. And then I said, well, if I was going to put a bag around all of these parts, what would it look like? Ross made an original design, hired a company to manufacture that first prototype, and like all innovation, Brightline bags developed gradually. Out of that handful of modular pieces, you can literally build hundreds of different bags. Our little slogan is, pick your parts, build your bag. So I get to get my hands on these. Yeah, let's take a look. So which is the earlier iteration? So this is actually the very first bag that we made. The red piping was not my idea, but it came on the very first bag. And it's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. So yeah, this is the very first bag. And then what's the current iteration like? This is now our, our current, one of our configurations. It's probably the most popular one. This is called the B7 Flight. This bag grew a little bit, and it got extra modules. And the, obviously, the color changed. What are all of these different colors on the zippers? Having the different colors makes it easy to go exactly to the pocket where you know your thing is. What separates these bags from other bags, other than just looking cool? Well, this bag looks like one large bag, but it actually can be separated into um, two bags. These are two bags. Now, the reason you would do this is because you want to make it smaller. I can also take the back panel off of this guy. <laughs> so then if I want the storage that's here, and I don't need this storage, I can just set that aside and zip this onto there and make a smaller version of the same bag. Wow. The front panel comes off. <laughs> that's so cool. So now I have these two parts. I can actually zip those two together and make a bag of its own. If you enjoy hobbies that involve equipment, Ross has you covered there, too. And because you can unzip and make it a bigger bag or a smaller bag, you don't have to take everything out of every pocket and put it in a different bag every day. I can actually take a, a module like this, and I can zip all of this together. Oh. So you can actually get very large and very small. When it comes to organizing gear, I think you've got it in the bag. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> <laughs>